Uh, okay, all right, our next inductee is Greg Laddiehoff, and Greg is going to be in it introduced by Wiley Pillar. Pillar, I'm sorry, Wiley, yeah. Good evening. Good evening. Before uh, I'm gonna get these things where they work, everybody here, are you okay? Yeah. Before we, I do what I came here to do, uh, I just want to make a comment about uh, what's happened this evening because this is uh, probably the first time that I've really had any active uh, association with this part of the Iowa golf group. I've been a golfer for over 68 years. I've been a member of the Iowa Association probably for all of that period of time. But as I was sitting back listening to the various speakers, what impressed me was, as I looked at my own activities, I said, you've been a taker all your life. You play golf, you use golf handicap, you've taken the benefits that you see in the newspaper. But tonight, as I looked and listened to the speeches, it was interesting, the work that's put in behind the scenes, the people that volunteer their times, the expansion of the Iowa Golf Association to what it offers, not just to golfers, but to people who may want to be golfers, who may want to be introduced to golf. And I thank all of you. I thank all of you who have that interest in that side of the association to make it better, not just for the golfers, but for everybody. So with that, uh, I'll introduce Greg, my longtime friend. It is my pleasure to be here this evening and, uh, and honor to introduce to you the gentleman that's on my left, who has been elected into the Iowa Hall of Fame. I've had the opportunity and pleasure of knowing Greg and his parents for probably more than 40 plus years. <clears throat> when Greg asked me to uh, introduce him, um, my thoughts came back to the early years when I was a golfer at Clinton Country Club, and he was a slender young lad, often seen playing around the course with his father, either accompanying him or sometimes playing with him. I'd been a member for some time. I knew the family, but I didn't really know Greg as the golfer. But the picture I most remember in this teenager on the first tee was him teeing it up and crushing it down the center of the fairway and over the top of that hill on the first tee at the Clinton Country Club. 225 yard plus, and I seldom got the ball over the hill. But what was the most amazing to me was his golf swing. So smooth, so easy, and so effortless. Because Greg was a natural golfer from the beginning. And everyone at our club knew that he was going to be great someday. In those days, the late 70s and early 80s, Clinton High School had a history of excellent young golfers and winning or placing high in the state state tournament all the way back to my years in the late 50s, which probably dates me. As a 14-year-old teen, Greg placed second in the Iowa Amateur in 1977 and third in the Iowa Open in 1978 as a 15-year-old. Then in 1979, he won the Iowa Junior Amateur Championship. And in 1979 and 1980, he led the Clinton High School to the State Golf Championship. Greg's always been a good athlete. He was a starting forward on the high school varsity basketball team. Loves to hunt and fish, still does maybe more than play golf. Was a good student and role model for his fellow students, peers, and friends. After high school, he was off to follow his dreams. On to the Ohio State, 
I explain that word the because it's sometimes it's just something that we discuss at the Iowa football games. Right. And an opportunity and privilege to play in the Big Ten and associate with Jack Nicholas and his sons. His accomplishments in the Big Ten were en enviable. 1981 to 1984, he was a first team All American, first team All Big Ten. 1982, second team All American. 1983, honorable mention All American. And 1984, third team All American. After graduation from the Ohio State, <laughs> they was on to the PGA Tour where Greg had 154 starts on the PGA Tour, <coughs> made 65 cuts, five top 10 finishes, third place in the 1986 USF and G Classic in New Orleans, 47 starts on the Ben Hogan Tour, two runner-up finishes on the Ben Hogan Tour, and in 1994 was the Iowa PGA Section champ. As good as that record is, Greg, I'm sure, will tell you that his life really began when he met and married his beautiful wife, Michelle, sitting over here. They have two lovely daughters and a wonderful family. After leaving the tour, Greg joined his father in the family business, Clinton Decoys, a decoy manufacturing company that his father created. His father was a skilled sculptor and carved and produced the geese and duck decoys himself, which included a famed Bigfoot, which is a copyrighted goose. <laughs> Together, Greg and his father grew the business to a very profitable business. Today, Greg is a successful businessman, entrepreneur, sportsman, and a farmer. And yes, he does get on the tractor and plow and plant and farm many acres in Clinton County. And last but not by far the least, Greg is, I can tell you from my years of knowing him, still a Hawkeye. <laughs> Maybe not when the Hawks are playing the Buckeyes. But he regularly tailgates with our group on Saturday mornings of all home games. He wears a Hawkeye t-shirt or sweatshirt. He was born a Hawkeye, and he is still a Hawkeye. <laughs> it is my pleasure to give you my very special friend and, and next inductee into the Iowa Hall of Fame, Gregory G. Laddie Hawk. <laughs> it's great to be here. I see a lot of old friends that I haven't seen for quite a while. I'd like to start off tonight by thanking the Iowa Golf Association for this honor. Man, they, they were a big part of my life growing up, playing junior golf, amateur golf around the state. I'd also like to thank them for all the time and effort that they put into running the tournaments and promoting golf around the state as well. I basically have split my life into two different parts. My life as a golfer and my life after golf. And my life as a golfer started at the mighty Clinton Country Club in Clinton, Iowa. And there were two brothers there at the time named Joe and Mark Burden. And they were probably the best golfers in town. And they were for sure the best young golfers in town. Now, they were old enough, or enough older than I was, that you know we really never had any competitive issues between us. And actually, they turned out to be my idols growing up. But in the beginning, it didn't seem like they were all that excited about a kid hanging around all the time, kind of cramping their style. But eventually, I wore them down, and they were instrumental in my development as a golfer. They taught me the ins and outs out of practice and win. 
golf. Joe had gone <coughs> to get a golf scholarship to the University of Illinois. And a couple years later, Mark got a golf scholarship to Duke University. So that kind of paved the way for me thinking that maybe someday I might be able to do the same thing. And that's exactly what happened when I got a golf scholarship to go to Ohio State. <laughs> <laughs> Joe and Mark have been lifelong friends. And they not only set a great example for me to follow in golf, but in life in general. And I'll never be able to repay them for all the help they've given me. In my life after golf, there isn't any one person that's more important to me and my family than the man that introduced me tonight, Wiley Pillars. I'm positive that I wouldn't be the person I am today without his friendship and guidance. I can't thank him enough for that. Next, I just want to say just a few words about my family. Unfortunately, my dad passed away several years ago. And although my mom was actually in pretty good health for her age, it's just a little hard for her to travel, so she wasn't able to be here tonight. But looking back, I don't know how anybody could have really had a much better childhood than I had. My family was always interested in just about everything I was involved with, especially my golf. And they were always there with love and support when things were going a little rough happen in golf. And by the same token, they were there just as quick, with just the right amount of humility, if they thought maybe I was getting a little bit too big for my britches. <laughs> and as it turns out, that's a pretty valuable lesson to learn as you go through life as well. And last, and certainly not least, I need to mention my wife, Michelle. We've been married just over 34 years now. But if you ask me, it feels like we just started dating. What can I say? She's an awesome wife and even a better mother. Hands down, marrying her was the best decision of my life. Simply put, honey, you'll always be my Hall of Famer. I'd like to thank the Iowa Golf Association again, and I hope everybody has a great night. Thank you.